Technology is making it easier for you to stay connected to your loved ones. There's email, text messages, and even video chatting. Now the Sangamon County Jail may make it easier for inmates to keep in contact with the outside world. ABC News Channel 20's Glenn Marshall is live in studio to tell us how. Glenn? Under Sheriff Jack Campbell says running the visitation days cost Sangamon County Jail a lot of money. Now he and his team are looking into ways to change visitation from being done between glass to over the internet. Technology continues to evolve, changing how we stay connected. Video chat websites like Skype and Uvu keep loved ones in contact over long distances, but officials at the Sangamon County Jail are looking to use the video technology to change inmate visitations. What this would do would uh, allow a better security of our facility. People would not have a chance to bring contraband in. Inmates in the Sangamon County Jail are used to picking up this phone and talking to someone on the other side of this glass. But now the chats may become digital and be able to be done over the web. We would have a monitor set up in the lobby so the people that don't have access to a computer at their house, they could come down to the lobby and still be able to go by a video visitation. I really think that would be really nice. Joan really Jones says she be. thinks there should be a monitoring system for the video chats, but doesn't mind making it easier for inmates to hear from loved ones. I have a brother myself who is an inmate, and uh, I'm sure he would appreciate that uh, so he could see and talk to his mother. Under Sheriff Campbell says the video chatting software would not eliminate officer positions. Instead, he says it would help cut back on overtime many workers face on visitation days. If it helps the sheriff's office, if it helps the, the taxpayers of this county by alleviating some of those costs and some of those security issues, I think we're all better served to allow something like this. County officials say they estimate 728 hours of overtime is due to visitation hours. They say that is estimated to $14,000 per year. Keep in mind this is just a proposal. There are about eight different companies in the running, but we're told Skype is not one of them. Liz? Thanks, Glenn. The video chatting system would allow inmates to contact loved ones at any time instead of just on the scheduled Tuesday and Sunday visitation hours.